Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is a question from a subscriber or a viewer. They wanted to know how to have half of a circle solid line to cut and the other half to be not solid so it would uh, not cut all the way through and be perforated. And my computer's acting up a little bit. So you see this right here, half of the circle is a solid cut and the other half it won't cut all the way through. Now I don't know exactly why you would do that but he's evidently got his reason so I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's just delete that. I've drawn a 10 inch circle. I've got my nudge distance set on 12 inches. So this is a solid circle. I'm going to take a straight line I'm going to hold down the control button and then I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to take my circle and make a duplicate, control D, I'm going to move it over. I'm going to delete this half of the circle. Now I'm going to take the other half of the circle and move it out of the way. And I'm going to move this back. And I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard because my nudge factor. Now this time I'm going to delete this side of the circle. And I'm going to delete my line now. Don't need it anymore. This is my, going to be my solid circle. This is going to be my perforated so go right here under styles and just pick one. We'll pick this one right here and hit OK. Now just take your arrow key and put it back. Now half the circle will not cut all the way through, but it would bend. You know, I don't know what he's doing with this. This would not really bend or work, but he's evidently got, and he just said like a circle. So he might have some other ideas. But this way, the laser is going to cut all the way, and then it's going to make these minute little cuts. So like a cardboard or a paper material, it would, it would bend. And maybe that's what he's planning on doing. You know, there's, the only thing I can think of, if you were going to draw a, a straight line, and then take your circle and put it in the P, whoop, got to group them together, control G, move it over the center of the page, and then let's just delete this side of the circle. So let's ungroup. This is the only way I could see that would be any helpful. Then take this line. Let's zoom in here. Use your virtual segment delete key to delete that line. Hopefully it'll stop at the circle, and it did. Now this line, whoop, you could select just this line. And go up here and, and choose a style that would cut not all the way through. Now this would bend. So you've got half of a circle cut all the way through and the other half would bend. Especially if you're going to have the other side of the circle, then you'd have the circle would fold in half. Anyway, hope that answered his question and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.